So it has been over 10 years since the Seattle Seahawks have had to go and look for their next franchise guy. Russell Wilson is not there anymore, obviously, so now they need to go out. They need to explore options in free agency, in the draft, and in the trade market. There's some pretty big names out there that they can go and get. But first, I'd like to welcome you to the JW Sports Talk Show, where every fan is welcome today. Going through all those Seattle Seahawks options post-Russell Wilson. There's a lot of options for quarterback. And then you do have questions about B. Carroll, which is another thing we will touch on, but we will save for another video. So if you enjoy football content, Seahawks, you know, NFL news, all that kind of stuff, make sure you like, subscribe, and put the post notification bell on so you don't miss any future videos. And let's get into the video. So Russell Wilson was an amazing quarterback for them for quite some time. And it's not easy to move on from a Hall of Fame quarterback like that. So Moving on from him and going to find someone is not as easy as it may sound. Very difficult to go from one franchise guy to another. So, first we'll start off in the draft. In the draft, you have a few options in the first round. Maybe if you really like a guy like Sam Howell, you take him. Maybe you really want to take a chan chance on Matt Corral, take him. But I think they should go after a guy like Malik Willis. Now, you did trade. You did just get a veteran QB from the Denver Broncos and Drew Locke. Why not draft Malik Willis and let him learn, let him sit, let him watch and learn the ropes, let him develop a year or two behind Drew Locke or whoever you bring in to mentor him. And then you go and you put him in when the Seahawks are built a little bit. When he got some of an offensive line. So he's not getting hit 40, 50 times a year. 60 times. Go and get a running back. That's not going to be hurt every year. I love the running backs. I love Chris Carson. But he's hurt a lot. He struggles to stay healthy. Rashad Penny had a breakout year. But is he going to be able to do it again? I don't know. So, then you look into some other options. You look into free agency. You know, you just got Drew Locke. So, really don't think free agency is much of a look into. There is Ryan Fitz. There is Tyrod Taylor. Maybe you want one of those guys to mentor your guy, like Malik Willis, instead of Drew Locke, which I wouldn't mind, which I you know, wouldn't be against. Maybe you bring in a guy like who else is out there in the free agency class? Maybe Teddy Bridgewater. Maybe Jameis Winston. There's a lot of free agents that they can maybe go and try and get. Maybe Jameis Winston would be a guy that you could sign and then not have to draft a quarterback if you can get the best out of him like the Saints were getting because... When he was with the Saints, he was mature. He, he, you know, he showed signs of maturing, and he was a pretty damn good quarterback with the Saints. Before the, you know, when he was healthy, they were five and two, and they were a really damn good football team. When he went down, really showed how much Jameis Winston and, and how well Jameis was doing, and how much of an impact he had on that team. But outside of that, I don't think there's many options in free agency for the Hawks. Then you're going to go and talk about the big trade. Big trade guy. The big guy into Sean Watson, right? Yeah, it's attractive. Yeah, you want Watson. Why wouldn't you? He's a young generational talent. Problem is a price tag. You know, you could afford it, but it's going to put you in debt for the for the long run. It's going to make it very difficult for you to recover. It's going to make you it's going to make you it's it's, it's going to make it very difficult to build around him and keep him happy if you don't have the assets. Yeah, they have the cap. They could sign a few guys. Even if they do trade for Watson, they could maybe sign a guy or two. But you're going to lose some draft picks, obviously. You're going to lose some good players. And, you know, there's not an offensive line there anyways. Not much of a defense. Not much of a running back. Not much of a run game. I don't think Deshaun Watson wants to go to Seattle. I don't think you really want to go... And go to a place where a guy like Russell Wilson was having problems with. The GM was having problems with Pete Carroll. 
They just weren't really getting along. And, you know, there's a reason for Russ being disgruntled. Maybe Deshaun Watson wants none of it. There's no offensive line. Defense is a mess. Watson wouldn't want to go there anyways. So, I mean, yeah, you do have weapons. But you won't be able to build the offensive line if you give those picks up. You won't be able to build around him. You won't be able to maybe build the defense up a little bit. Get him a tight end. No, 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 no. They do have no fan. That's right. For, 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 I forgot about that. But you got to remember, man, if you're going to give up a lot, you're going to pay for it, especially if you don't have as much as it is in the terms of player-wise, in the terms of having a solid defense, in the terms of having a solid offensive line. You don't have that. So you got to just draft someone. Take your time. Maybe you draft one of the edge rushers this year. Maybe you draft an offensive lineman like Charles Cross when he's there. And then maybe you go and you draft a quarterback next year because next year quarterbacks are expected to be much better. They are going to be much better. This quarterback class this year is not very good. It's not great. It's not good. Next year is going to be great. It's going to be pretty damn good. Kind of like last year. Not as good as last year, but still pretty damn good. So, wait till next year, maybe. Or draft the guy this year. It's their call. Right out with Drew Luck this year. See what they got in him. See if they can get the best out of him. But the Broncos couldn't. Don't, don't, don't forget that Pete Carroll is a defensive guy. Ron Cedric guy. So... I don't see Drew Locke really making much of a difference there either. I don't think he's going to be a different guy. I don't think he's going to figure it out over there. I I think he could be the same or he's going to be worse. I don't think he's going to be better. So, you Seahawks fans, let me know what you think. Do you think that the Seahawks should go and trade for a guy like Deshaun Watson? Should they go sign a guy like Jameis Winston, Bridgewater? Or Ryan Fitz, Tyrod Taylor. Do you stick with Drew Locke? Do you go and dip in the draft? Do you wait till next year to draft? There's so many opportunities. So, you let me know what you think. Thank you for tuning in to the JW Sports Talk Show, where every fan is welcome. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, if you enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, put the post notification bell on. You'll miss the future videos. And... I will catch you guys next time. This is the JDW Sports Talk Show, signing off.